In honor of the Mad Titan Thanos, we are featuring a truly mad concoction. This is a Thanos deck unlike any you have ever or will ever see. I don't understand how it works, so don't ask me to explain it. Just watch the gameplay. <laughs> we are combining Thanos with Cerebro, believe it or not. Now C3 specifically has a lot of good, solid tech cards that you can use. The ones that are in my collection include Armor, who can protect your stones and fight back against any destroy matchups you have. Quake, who is just the scammer of all cubes. We can't leave out Shang-Chi. And then a personal favorite of mine who I don't use often enough, and that is Valkyrie. There's Invisible Woman if we need to hide our tech cards or Cerebro. There is Bast to take all of our cards to three or Thanos down to three. We have Blade who ultimately ends up being a last turn play or you can play him under Invisible Woman. Or sometimes you play him out just to get your hand free of a card that you don't need. There is Blue Marvel who of course is a staple in Cerebro decks. And Mystique, who can double up the Blue Marvel bonus or double the Cerebro. And then we have Thanos, who really is here just for the stones. Please forgive me, Thanos. I was going to like your video, but not anymore. If your Cerebro 3 plan doesn't come together, which quite frankly, often it won't, you are just relying on either Thanos himself as big power if you can get all the stones out and then you can Valkyrie another lane and just demolish that. So let's get into the games and let me show you how this wacky deck performs. The universe shall be set Okay, right. first up we have Mr. Shorty. We have our tech card in Valkyrie in hand. We have Onslaught Citadel. I guess I will throw Power Stone there. We are going up against a normal deck. If we can get all our stones down, Thanos will be 30 which is decent in the deep space. We have nothing to do because I don't want to discard my Shang-Chi. Soul Stone. Draw a card. I will play Soul Stone over here because this may end up being my Valkyrie lane. We will see. It's not because they are a... Hmm. They are a uh, Darkhawk deck. So maybe I pivot and this is my Valkyrie lane. Get down both stones. I also have Sean. But I kind of need my a hand buffer in blue marvel so let's see i could quake Opponent snapped. it is turn five what do i want to do quake can scam me a win into deep space These two? I'm gonna see this through and see if I can't get a scam win. I am inevitable. Hey man, I'm cool. Oh, Thanos is 30. Even though he's showing 20, he should be 30. So if I do this, Mojo World flips to the middle. Dina doesn't get buffed until later. They have priority. And just assume they play Darkhawk. Angela goes up to six, so they'd be at nine. And this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, 
I'm sorry, Mr. Shorty. I'm sorry. What a win. So this is this is how this deck works. Oh boy. And why it works? Because C3 has these scam cards. <laughs> so so I'm just kind of being crazy putting Cerebro in here, which believe me, it can work. It can work. But so can these scam cards. Quake is fantastic at scamming wins. Valkyrie's fantastic at scamming wins. And everybody knows how powerful Shang-Chi is. And we just figured they were going to play their Dark Hawk left. And we were correct in this case. Okay, next up we have Alejo. Crimson Cosmos. Uh, what does Soulstone do? <laughs> I forget what all the stones do. So you're going to see me constantly clicking on stones this gameplay. Uh, they both draw a card, can't be destroyed, nothing can stop you from playing or moving. We will just play Soulstone mid. We are going up against an Arishem deck. So both Valkyrie and Sean are good into that. Ugh. What is this? Can't be destroyed, duplicates with Mystique, nothing... Ugh. I mean, I just kind of have to hope I... Thanos gets pulled, quite frankly. Uh, I will play Space Stone here, I guess. They still haven't played a card. Thanos, please, or Mind Stone. Mystique, of course. Loki, that, now that is funny. They got four of my cards, which can be decent tech cards. Mystique drew us a card, that's nice of you. Mind Stone and Power Stone, so this might be... Why are they snapping? This might be a... Just a regular Thanos game plan. I have Orca, that's funny. Blue Marvel, okay, that's the snap, I guess. Or maybe not, maybe they're snapping early. We have time and reality, so I can get down an early Thanos. I can't Valkyrie that lane. Ugh, I have to pick a lane to lose. Uh, we'll just we'll just pick. The, no, I, that was not the lane I wanted to pick to lose. I wanted to pick middle to lose. Okay, maybe they're planning a Valkyrie lane there. I am inevitable. We get Thanos up to twenty. That is hilarious. <laughs> I mean, did they get Sean? That's the question. So they should know I have a, another 20 power Thanos. I gotta see this throw, right? It's like two Thanoses? What's, what's better than that? Two more shall take okay. it <laughs> What a deck. This deck is crazy. Uh, I have no business winning with this deck. I was winning in brief testing. I'm winning while I'm recording. It, this, I, I can't explain it. But uh, you you see the proof? This is proof. <laughs> this, this is just a wacky game, period. And somehow this I'm, I'm able to pull out wins, and I don't get it. If you try this deck, I wouldn't be shocked if, if, you, if you tell me, oh man, nerd, I, I lost 10 straight games. <laughs> but I'm winning, and it, and it doesn't make sense, and I can't explain it. Try it out and see if... See if you have the same level of success as me. Okay, next up we have Max. We have Cerebro and Valkyrie in hand. That's a good pair. A regular deck. I definitely don't want to play Blade to discard my Valkyrie. Blade is in the deck really just for a last turn, another three cost card. I suppose left will be my Valkyrie lane. Bast is nice. Now, do I think they're going to clog me left? I guess I should be careful with that. Do I even Bast? If I Bast, I guess I should Bast here. 
And then now I stop playing left. Ugh. Cerebro got tagged. Okay. Unfortunate. Okay, I should definitely be expecting a Dr. Octopus. But I think that's okay. So I just need to get Cerebro down. I'm assuming they Doc Ock me right. Yep, there's the Goblin. So that's why I wanted to leave space left. So I can Valkyrie over there. It is super tempting. Okay. There, uh, so this is, I don't know what this snap means. It might be Doc Ock. It might be that they try to fill this location. They do have priorities. So if they yank Mystique, Mystique actually copies Cerebro. I'm going to fill up this location because it it is super advantageous for me. If they play something large here, it gets super discounted. I'm buffing these all up. That's why I'm filling my lane early here. So we'll stick through on the snap. Ajax, so uh, I guess I should be expecting a hazmat, which might be okay. I really want to play Blue Marvel. Uh, so let me play Blue Marvel. Power Stone first, and then Blue Marvel second, so I can get Mystique the copy. There's the Doc Ock. Mystique is indeed going to copy. And then, can they tick down my cards enough? A Wong Hazmat, maybe? With, but they would need Luke Cage? Okay, let's just, let's just see. Let, let, them, let them prove it and see what, uh, what they have. <laughs> and they indeed could not prove it fantastic i'm telling you i don't understand it don't ask me to explain it in the comments no comments this video <laughs> i'm banning comments this video because i i i won't have an explanation for you i i don't know maybe everybody all the super good players took a break but i'm in high infinite so there's definitely good players around and this deck just keeps pulling out wins and this one we got thanos and cerebro combined thanos you're definitely proud of me right you will never make me proud can lucky llama bring my winning streak to an end let us find out Lemuria, first location. I have nothing really to use Baston, so I will hold. I could bring Thanos down, but I don't know if I want to just yet. We are going up against an Arishem player. I wonder if Quake's gonna come in handy. Again, nothing to really Bast. So we shall just continue to be patient. Now we definitely have something to Bast in the Cerebro. I think I will Bast middle, maybe middle becomes my Valkyrie lane. And Quake, I can just get down. So I think I'll get her down middle. I want to hold on to Cerebro because it's going to get the plus three. We don't have to worry about Thanos getting buffed. We have Cerebro Mystique. So I think the plan is to spread them out. So we will play Cerebro over there and Mystique. Next turn, I'm not sure I want to snap. Do I, oh, that's juicy. I think I'll snap this, yeah. Let's snap this up. Okay, so my middle lane is set up to win. Now I just need another lane. So I think I blue Marvel, no, let's continue to spread them out because that way I guard against tech is what I'm doing right now. If they have a rogue or enchantress, they can't do it across all three lanes. So that's what I'm setting up here. So I'm not being greedy. This is just protection. You're giving me sentinels? Thank you. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll, I'll take the Sentinels. Thank you very much. 
That is perfect. Are you kidding? How much are these worth? Eight? No, because I could only... Eight, eight... Twenty-four. I could get up to twenty-four. But I think I'll just load up. I'll just load up there. And do I YOLO a reality stone? Nah, let's not. Let's not introduce that. Did I play Valkyrie last? I did play Valkyrie last. And let's... Let's see what happens. If they can... Ooh. That is a lot of points. I should have gone left. Tie? No, I think we might win tiebreaker, maybe? Question mark, 15? Can I get up? Can we beat him by, oh. I think we did. I think we did. <laughs> so, so, this deck is fantastic. Honestly, I think it boils down to some of the tech cards we have in here. What in the world am I doing playing a Thanos C3 deck? Nobody's retreating because they're like, I must not know what I'm doing. So, <laughs> they're probably right. Let's get to the deck breakdown. Here's the deck again. I think I've been able to come up with a decent explanation of why this deck works. And that is just on the backbone of the tech cards here. We have Valkyrie. I didn't get a chance to show Invisible Woman, but again, she's fantastic for hiding a Valkyrie or hiding a Blue Marvel or, or your Cerebro game plan or the Blade so it doesn't activate. I really think that's the backbone of this deck along with Blue Marvel. And also you can go different paths. You can get Thanos down as a C3 card or as not, as just your large threat. And people don't know how to react to this deck is a lot of what I'm seeing potentially. It's definitely a fun deck to play. It's wacky. Wait, will scam you some wins. Another tech card that will just fool people. Again, I can't exactly tell you why this deck works, but in the limited testing and limited gameplay that I've recorded, I've been recording for 34 minutes now. It's just been a ton of wins. I'd like to thank everybody who's joined the channel. I really appreciate the support. And for everybody who hasn't joined the channel, feel free to or not. Thank you for watching to the very end. That also is a big help to the channel. Thanks. Give this deck a try if you are brave or want to have fun or want to experiment or see what this is really about. Let me know how it goes for you. Here's a bonus clip. Regular deck. We have Space Throne Blade and Invisible Woman. Space Stone draws a card. I will play out Space Stone middle. A first turn America Chavez always makes me think bot, but it is not a bot. Onslaught Citadel is fantastic for our deck. I think I play Invisible Woman Center. They are going with Angela, okay. And then I can always throw a blade down there. Limbo gives me an extra turn. I think I will just play out the Power Stone. I don't have any cards to buff with Bast. So I will just get down the Power Stone. Why does this deck feel so bot-like? I'm in infinite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna snap. I think I bast. I bast for the Cerebro, and I can play Blue Marvel. So bast there. I will play Blue Marvel, or Cerebro. No, I said it right and picked up the wrong card. I will actually play Blue Marvel. So get Blue Marble down. Cerebro will slot there. Taking aim. This is clearly Zoo. Take out my Bast. Oh. Okay. I think I double up. I think I double up Blue Marble? Because they have a Blue Marble of their own. Or do I just do the Cerebro Blade Quake? Get Thanos down, unless they're going to rip the location away from me. Let's see. They do not. 
They have zero cards in hand. I am so confused. One card. Okay. So presumably they play it middle. Uh, decisions, decisions. So if I go Cerebro... If I go Cerebro... Blade and Armor? I don't even know how many points that is. <laughs> or I could duplicate them as... I don't know what is more points. So I'll just go with Mystique, I guess, to duplicate the blue marble. What's blue marble? Plus one, so that's plus two. That would be plus four. So I think that's worth more points. Don't want to play Quake. So I guess we just do this? Question mark? Okay, is that enough middle? I have no clue. Because I don't math. That's enough to win right. Oh, by one. Oh, that's that's heartbreak right there. Man, by one. I'll, I'll take it. That kind of shows the weird effectiveness. Even though I lost, it, this kind of shows the weird effectiveness of this deck. I just needed more points middle. Potentially playing Space Throne left was the play just to keep that lane, this lane free for another three cost, uh, three power card because they all got up to nine. So this was a mistake in piloting is, is what this was, but... If I had piloted the deck better, <laughs> this would have been a win. You will never make me proud.